ST500. Uh, I want to mention that I am not sponsored and this is my own opinion about this product. The functions of this is a soldering iron, hot blower, and micro torch. It has an auto ignition and is refillable and has a safety lock. Uh, I picked this up at my uh, local depot of home improvements for $19.99 plus tax. Uh, you will also need to purchase the uh, Burns-O-Matic Butane 5.5 ounce uh, refill bottle. I, and that runs for about $5. Um, the third item that you'll want to get and what I usually get from my application is the burn zomatic 6040 rosin core solder and this has worked for me just fine um, let's go ahead and unbox this and we'll go ahead and, sh and uh, go over the uh, different uh, components of this product off the bat that looks pretty cool nice little case um, it's not gonna roll anywhere I'm gonna take this cover off it won't roll anywhere uh, at the very front here you've got the uh, soldering tip if you take that off then you've got the hot blower tip as you can see mesh in there um, then to use the micro torch function take that off take the hot blower out and then reclose this up and then you have a micro torch um, other pieces of this is this button here that is your safety lock and this switch here is your uh, ignition switch. When you press this down, it unlocks it. When you press on this ignition switch, um, once you press it down slightly, you could hear the hiss of the gas. And then when you click it all the way, then you can hear the shh sound, and you know that's when you've got a flame on. Um, here's your continuous flame lock button. You've got an off position and continuous. Um, right behind that you've got your range uh, one all the way up to four if you want a longer flame hotter flame and then in the very back is your fuel filling valve so with that let's go ahead and uh, do the torch function let's go ahead and fill this up uh, with the tip down at a 45 degree angle um, insert the bottle into the filler valve, um, press on it. Once you see the gas squirt out, then you know it's full. Uh, again, to turn it on, press this. And I'll usually set it at a three, just so that way I can hear the gas. So unlock it, prime it, hear the hiss. And then your fuel. Then at the same time, go ahead and press this, press this towards continuous. Um, so you get your flame. Uh, so if you want to increase it, lower it. You can see the flame go down slightly and to an off position. But you can still hear the gas. So make sure you click in the off position. All right. It's going to be a little bit warm. But let's go ahead and do a uh, demonstration uh, with pre-tinning a power distribution board. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll go ahead and disconnect this. Um, the reason why I chose this opposed to other soldering irons uh, is because I can take this to uh, my RC field and... I don't have to, I can make repairs on the fly and I have to worry about any uh, connecting to any electrical power sources. 
I'll just go ahead and lay this down. All right, so throw the blower back on. Okay, screw this couple back on. Okay, it's tight. Okay, put the soldering tip back on. Okay, nice and tight. Alright, let's go ahead and do some soldering. Alright, so we're going to be soldering a power distribution board, which looks like this. Um, we'll pretend all these positive and negative uh, areas. And once we get that done, uh, we'll go ahead and connect a main battery lead to it. So that way we can show you the hot blower function and do some uh, shrink wrapping. So again, this is a power distribution board. This basically goes to one of these little guys here. To a, This is a 210 millimeter size drone, but as you can see at the very bottom, that bottom board is the power distribution board and that's where all the wires are coming out, okay? All right, let's put that aside. All right. Uh, again, I'll set it to number three, so that way I can at least hear it. Here it is. Now you get the flame on. All right, while that's warming up, we'll go ahead and zoom in. The distribution board is pre-tinned, so let's go ahead and connect this main battery lead. I've already got it pre-soldered, and the other end's already pre-tinned. So we'll go ahead and slip the shrink wrap on there, and once we get it soldered onto the board, we'll go ahead and show the uh, blow hot blower function. On. Clean. And then what I'll do is put this little guy on there just to make it a little tighter. So it's not so spread out. Okay. Once these guys are on, then we can go ahead and solder this onto the board. Alright, once you got the soldering tip off, 
And let's go ahead and shrink these guys up. All right, there you got it. Power distribution board is prepped with the uh, main battery lead, and we've shrink wrapped the uh, connect connections to the uh, T connector. Um, again, I want to thank you for viewing this unpackaging and very short uh, review of the three in one. I hope you guys were able to get something out from this video. If you guys do pick this product up. I hope it gives you the same success as it has me. Uh, take care. Thank you.